Oh, no, 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 no. Y'all done did it now. Y'all done did it now. How in the world is James Harden not an NBA All-Star? What's up YouTube and welcome back to the Sixers break room. Before we even get into the fact that James Harden is by far the biggest snub of this all-star team, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter. All of those are going to be at Sixers Break Room. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. And of course, like this video, throw in a comment, boost me through that algorithm. Now let's talk about James Harden because this man has been snubbed from the All-Star game. This is as a 9, as a 10, as a 11, and as a 12. I don't know how in the world James Harden is not an NBA All-Star. The man is averaging 21 points per game. The man is averaging 11 assists a game. The man is averaging, I believe, leave six rebounds a game. The man is on a team who, who is top three in the Eastern Conference, the hottest team in the NBA. I think they won 21 of their last 26. How, 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 how is this man not an all-star? You see, I, I, I put out there on my Twitter, I'm going to have to start showing some of y'all more of my personality, right? More, more of my energy, more, more of my fire. I've been a little, I think I've been a little too politically correct on these videos. This is absolutely dumb and stupid. I, I mean, I mean, listen, okay. Before I get too emotional, let's because I like I always tell you guys facts, right? I'm gonna bring you guys facts. It's not always about how I feel. It's about keeping it real. So let's keep it real. Drew Holiday is on the All Star team. Drew Holiday is averaging 19 points, five rebounds, seven assists. Cool, that's respectable. I, I ain't even mad at that. Uh, let's look at Tyrese Halliburton, who is on the All Star team. Tyrese Halliburton is averaging 20 points, four rebounds, ten assists. Cool, I ain't mad at that. Good year. James Harden is averaging 21 points. Well, last I checked, 21 is greater than 19 and 21 is greater than 20. Um, okay, he's averaging six rebounds. Well, last I checked, six is greater than five and six is greater than four. Yeah, that adds up. And he's averaging 11 assists. Well, last I checked, 11 is greater than seven and 11 is greater than 10. So something's not adding up here. Uh, and it's not my math. I know that for damn sure because all those numbers are better. Not to mention the fact that, well, if you want to say that, well, the Milwaukee Bucks have a better record, uh, only because they play more games. I believe they they both have 17 losses. I think the Bucks have 35 wins to the Sixers 34, but that just means they play the next year game. Uh, when you look at the, the Indiana Pacers, well, last I checked, I think the Indiana Pacers were on a bit, pretty big losing streak until they got away, away with a win last night uh, to the Kings, right? So it's like, we got a better record than the Pacers. He's scoring more than Halliburton. He's getting more rebounds than Halliburton. He's getting more assists than Halliburton. I mean, he's just playing better than Tyrese Halliburton. Okay? When you look at the Milwaukee Bucks, well, they, they got the same record in the loss column as the Milwaukee Bucks. He's scoring more than Drew Holiday. He's getting more rebounds than Drew Holiday. He's getting more assists than Drew Holiday. So he's got better numbers and arguably on a better team than Drew Holiday. So clearly... When, when, when the selection committee, the assistant coaches, whoever it is that made these decisions, when they decided that James Harden wasn't the MVP, they must have took some feelings into account. It's the only explanation. Now, I know you might talk about the games played. and Okay, yeah, if you look at it, you know, uh, uh, James Harden has missed a few games. I'm looking at it right now. Tyrese Halliburton has played 42 games. Drew Holiday has played 41 games. And James Harden has played 35 games. So, yeah, they played more games. But are you telling me that the difference between Drew Holiday and Tyrese Halliburton making the team, making the All-Star team over James Harden, simply came down to the fact that one guy played six more games and the other guy played seven more games? Huh? Huh? Now, here's the problem I have with these kind of discussions, right? Because what happens in sports, it's like when you praise one guy, you're putting down another, right? Like just last week, if you guys are NFL fans, it was like, Mahomes versus Burrow and it was like by saying Burrow was better you were putting down Mahomes and by saying Mahomes is better you're putting down Burrow and I know that's what it sounds like I know that's what it sounds like as I'm talking about why James Harden should be on the all-star team I'm making it sound like Drew Holiday is a bad basketball player or not having a good year I'm making it seem like Tyrese Halliburton is having a bad year or, or he's just not as good as James Harden and that's not what I'm trying to do this is no disrespect to Drew Holiday and Tyrese Halliburton what this is is a recognition of the fact that James Harden got snubbed OK, I'm not saying those two shouldn't be all stars. I'm just saying James Harden should be an all star and somebody should be coming up off that list. 
again, he's he, he, he like it's easy to look at Drew Holiday and Tyrese Halliburton because they play the same position. All three of those guys are point guards. One of them scores more, rebounds more, and has more assists than the other three. And if we're being honest, if we're being frank, James Harden has been asked to dial it back, right? James Harden is being asked to score less because of Joel Embiid. James Harden is being asked to do more because of Joel Embiid. James Harden is probably taking less shots this year than he has in the past six, seven years. And that's not even me looking at it. That's just me watching basketball. It is very clear James Harden is taking a backseat because James Harden has shown in many of these games that when it's time, when it's winning time, if you, oh, y'all need me to go get a bucket? Cool, I'll go get one. James Harden might have 15, 16 points through three quarters. And then in the fourth quarter, he come out and hit three straight threes to start the quarter. And just be like, oh, I know what time it is. And y'all know what time it is. It's time for me to go get a bucket, so I'm going to go get one. James Harden is an all-star. James Harden has arguably been the best point guard in the Eastern Conference this year, despite the missing games. And I don't see how you can dispute that. Not if you watch the games. Not if you look at the numbers. There's nothing you can do when evaluating James Harden compared to his peers, especially at the position, and say he's not an all-star. I mean, damn. NBA.com has James Harden at number seven in their MVP ladder. So how the hell does NBA.com say he's seventh in MVP voting? Not voting because technically they haven't voted yet, but you get what I'm saying. How the hell can NBA.com say that James Harden is seventh in the MVP ladder, but he's not an all-star in his own conference? Something's not adding up. Two plus two is all of a sudden equal in five, and I'm confused. So you guys make it make sense. Sound off in the comment section below. Do you guys believe that James Harden was an all-star snub, or do you think they made the right decision? I'm not going to even tell you if you're right or wrong. I want y'all to just let me know in the comment section what's up. Or maybe I will, because if y'all come crazy, y'all know how I get down in these comments, and y'all know I'll respond. So let me know in the comment section below. If you like the video, don't forget to like the video. Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, all of those are going to be at Sixers Break Room. So follow me on all those, and I'm going to see y'all on the next one. Peace.